Hi everybody, my name is Barbara. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing Jennifer Aniston inspired hair tutorial. I am by no means any professional hairstylist or Jennifer Aniston herself, but I love her. I admire her ever since like Friends came out and I love how she wears her hair. She always wear her hair very straight and shiny and polished and I'm very inspired by that. So I'm going to attempt it. I did attempt it. And my hair is naturally very wavy, dry, curly, kind of very fine, like all the good stuff, but this is what we are working with. I used some products to help my hair to become straight and shiny, and I list them all in the description down below, so make sure you check it. If you like those type of videos, definitely subscribe for this channel. I have a whole lot of videos coming up, and make sure you turn the notifications on so you do not miss any of my videos. And yeah, if you like, check out my Instagram, it's Barberine, and enjoy watching! So guys, I just washed my hair. It's like about half an hour since I washed it. I just did my makeup. My hair, as you can see, it's very curly or baby, and it's also very dry and fine, so I have like a lot to do. I usually apply some sort of oil, and I like this oil, Argan... What is this? Or Air Serum? A hair! God! I never heard of brand. I got this oil from my mom when she's been traveling and it's a argan hair oil serum and I have dry ends and I feel like this soaks to my hair and make it softer, smoother and just more moisturized and less dry. So I just squeeze a little bit, yeah maybe two pumps and I massage it to my hair and I just really focus on the ends of my hair because this is where my hair is the most dry now after i applied my hair oil i'm going ahead this is just from academia hair oil comp and i just need to part my hair the right side okay now i'm going to apply the hair mousse the one i like using is this l'oreal paris silk and gloss volume mousse number seven first i shake it shake 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 apply it to the palm maybe this much and I take the comb and I just take a little bit and I run it through my hair I really like using a hair mousse especially this one from L'Oreal like this is my third or fourth bottle because I feel like this mousse really does add the body to my hair and it's cheap or on the cheaper size from the drugstore and I just really enjoy it. Before I'm going to blow dry my hair, I like to apply some sort of heat protection and the one I like using is this one from L'Oreal. It's heat protection to 100 and no, to 230 Celsius and it's to make your hair straight for longer. It says three days and I feel like really it does help my hair afterwards to uh, be straighter for longer. So I'm just going to spritz it through my hair. To blow dry my hair I use the blow dryer from the brand called Brown and it's a satin hair 7. It's ionic so it keeps my hair like shinier I think and yeah I'm going to do that. Now I'm just going to take the side and put it here and again brush through and blow dry. If you want to achieve more body and volume, make sure that you blow dry and brush through sort of against as your hair naturally grows. My hair is like 80% blow dried and I'm just going to blow dry it like as it is now. As you can see, 
I'm thirsty. Oh, better. So as you can see, my hair is already much straighter and I only blow dried using my heat protection spray and hair oil and obviously the hair mousse. What I like to do as I blow dry my hair is to come with the blow dryer again, but on the cold setting. And this adds more shine to my hair and will sort of fix the hairstyle I have. And I just comb them through with my tangle teaser. So, and now my hair is ready to be straightened. And for straightening, I love to use my, I think it's Panasonic. It's pretty old and dirty. Like I never clean my heat tools, like never. I don't know, it's one thing I always forget. And I have this tool like for about 10 years. I really like it, it really does like make my hair straight. So. I have no problems with it. There is one more product I like to use to keep them straight for longer and it's this polishing nourishing milk for dry hair. It's this one from Kerastase. Just really a pea size is enough. What I do, I just squeeze really just a pea size like that. Okay, I feel like I need a pea size more. Okay, this is the second. And this product, just let me tell you, it's amazing. I really feel when I apply this product to the ends of my hair, it stays straighter for longer. Therefore, I've really been enjoying. I use it now for about a year and it's still, I feel like it's full. It's up until here. And I really like this product. I like to part my hair before I straighten them. I show you. So I like to put the top part of my hair here on the top so I can focus to straightening only the bottom part. I use my straightener on the settings 170. I don't know, is it too much? I don't know, I feel like this is the fastest and the most effective. So, and I just really take like a small piece of my hair and straighten it from the top to the bottom. that the bottom layer is perfectly straight. I will remove this hair clip and I will now straighten all of this. My hair is now straightened. One last thing I like to use to keep my hair very shiny and soft and smooth is to use this silk infusion from the brand called He or Chi. If you like to know more, go ahead to my December favorite and check out the video I talk about it. So I just apply a really tiny amount and it just makes my hair really very silky and uh, smells so, so amazing and it makes it really, really silky and smooth. Let me show you from the back. So guys, I think that we are done. I think this hair tutorial worked pretty well. We definitely achieved a very similar look to the Jennifer's. Like we achieved this very straight and very sleek and shiny hair. And if you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe and hit the like button. And I see you in my next one. Ciao.